Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Fast API. Today we are going to learn about the CRUD with the Firebase real-time database Python Fast API. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share, and comment on my video. Let's get started. So let's copy and paste this code. Okay, let's try to add it. So let's comment the previous code like this. Okay, let's add the code over here. Okay, let's change the details. So dictionary is updated with the model dump, so you can use here. Right. And here also you can go with this model dump. And done. Okay let's add the path to the service account so already i have so if you don't know how to create it then then you have to watch the videos to get how to get this one right so here we have the database url so let's get it so here we have the real time database right so let's reload this let me check how much it, yeah it's come let's copy this and add it the path over here Right, so I think HTTPS we don't require. Let's have a look if the error is not occurring. Okay, let's go with reload and here we get all the posts. So first we will create the items. Schema is already there. Let's add the uh, name and the description. Let's execute this and internal server error will come invalid URL. Okay, uh, let's copy the full URL and then add set okay let's reload this again try it out execute and here we go and uh, here you can see the items and the record name and the description is there moving to the next part that we have to go with the get the item ID right so already we have this item ID right so let's copy this item ID and get the information regarding this. So let's put it out, try it out, item ID, let's execute it. And what it says, item not found. Why? Because I think this is the ID, right? This is ID or what? N and W is there. Yeah, I have this used this. Execute item not found. That's strange. Hyphen I think missing. Okay. So let's add this hyphen also execute now you can see the record is there moving to the next part that we have go with the put items let's update the item try it out so here we go with the i will put the rr to this string and let's update it execute and here we go with the updation and here you can see it's updated next part let's try to delete the record the last one let's try it out with the item id and let's execute it and here we go null right so this is the crud operation that we have performed with the real-time database okay so let's dive into the code level okay so here we have the fast api import from the fast api and http exception then firebase admin credentials initialize app and the db using the PyIdentic model, import from the base model and typing optional. So initialize the fast API. Here initialize the Firebase admin SDK with your certificate and database URL. The next one model we have to, like the schema we have to define because we need name and the description, okay? So the next one that is the how to create the item that is a post request. So reference is items and push. So whatever data 
reference items push so set whatever data we are sending to them and just set that part and return the items okay read operation that get by the id so child item id if get then return if not then item not found next we have a update request so let's have a item id so if we get the error of item id then we will set that data or update the data and return else we will throw the error that the item not found okay the last one that is delete operation on the behalf of the item id so here we receive the item id and if we get this then delete it else item not found okay so this is full fledged firebase real time database crud operation any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day